The history of black veterans in the United States has been a complex and sordid one. Black soldiers fought for the rights and liberty of whites, but were afforded none. Black soldiers were sent to the back of trains, streetcars, and buses if they boarded one. And it's a big deal that they could never eat meals in white restaurants if they ever tried to order one. In the aftermath of the first two world wars, black vets who had defended their country and completed their tours came back home to face a racial storm and many were hanged from trees in their military uniforms. So by the time the Vietnam War rolled around, there was skepticism and hesitation on black participation since consciousness was growing about correcting the terrorism that black Americans had been facing, but blacks were being drafted at disproportionate rates compared to whites. This country couldn't even pay them respect, yet blacks were expected to pay the ultimate price, so blacks were amongst the last to get rights, but the first to be sent to the front lines to die in a white man's fight. And Vietnam was a different kind of animal. Because prejudice was still prevalent, it was evident because there was racism in the ranks, and after certain events, the hate was exacerbated because white soldiers were flying Confederate flags the day after MLK was assassinated. Imagine being on your own side and still having to be cautious because white soldiers were playing Klansmen in Vietnam since they were out there burning crosses and it was hard to tell the good soldiers from the bad ones. There were instances of deadly interactions where white soldiers were killing black ones so black GIs devised a coded form of communication that was used to convey unity and disseminate information they needed to survive and they called it DAP which is an acronym that stands for dignity and pride and dapping translates to you're not above me and I'm not above you plus dapping was used by black soldiers as a substitute since the military had banned the black power salute but white soldiers and COs saw the dap and became threatened since they thought the handshake was a symbol of black rebellion and black insurrection so they had it banned and it's not by coincidence that black soldiers caught dapping were subject to being dishonorably discharged as a form of punishment but later in the war the military found dap was necessary and started allowing black soldiers to use DAP therapy to help black soldiers who are suffering from PTSD. So the next time you and your people engage in the act of giving DAP, think back on the black soldiers who utilized it in the midst of a war and in the face of white supremacist attacks. So remember, black soldiers didn't only fight for this country, but they fought so that America would acknowledge their existence. And DAPing has always been a form of unity, strength, defiance, and resistance. We also fight to protect Walt Rockefeller, Rockefeller's foundation. We fight to protect J.P. Kennedy's foundation. All these different kind of foundations that the black man can't partake of, you understand? And then we go back, we continuously harass. It's not necessary. This ain't what we heard. This is what we know. See, we've seen it from the bird's eye point of view. We are the people here now, see? We see it now. the way they do.